So I had a comment the other day about the battery life and he virtually said DJI had lied to him. He got about eight to 10 minutes battery life out of his uh, from the Neo 2 uh, and he was sending the drone back. So I thought this is a, this could be a good test. So I bought the Combi. I've got all the free batteries. So what I've done, I've fully charged all these batteries. So supposedly they're 100%. I'm using my phone for the takeoff. It's in follow mode, but the drone's gonna be sort of just sat there really. You will see it bob about a little bit. Um, because there's no wind in here, there's gonna be nothing going on. So officially, I should get the full 19 minutes. Don't you think? Well, apparently not, because apparently in the literature, when the guards are fitted, you only get 17 minutes. But if you're taking the guards off, then yeah, supposedly you get 19 minutes of flight time. So what I've done, not to drag it out too long, I put each battery side by side. You can see as soon as they take off all together, and then we're gonna go, it goes through until one by one, they knock off. It is, it's interesting, guys. I think you're gonna love it <laughs> because they don't obviously all finish at the same time. And yeah, interesting. So I'm gonna get back to you in a mo. Critically low battery warning. Critically low battery warning. Landing. Critically low battery warning. Critically low battery warning. Critically low battery warning. Landing. Critically low battery warning. Critically low battery warning. Critically low battery warning. Okay, interestingly with the batteries, every one of them, once it got the 15%, then it went into low battery. Obviously it goes through the process, you, you got so many seconds before you can return it home, but I finished it at that. So the first battery was this one, I got 1118 out of it. The second battery, which funny enough, was the third battery, which is this one, 
not to confuse matters, I got 15% and then I got 11.42 out of it. But the longest one, which was the middle one, 15%, 12.07. So, bit longer. <laughs> anyway, obviously it wouldn't do nothing. That, now that would be interesting to see if that was outside an active track, bit of wind, would that mean we'll get it down to what that guy said about eight to 10 minutes? Me personally, I, I think that's about right really. Probably 10 to 15, probably 15 minutes the max. But I think 10 minutes, yeah. It's a little drone, guys. These batteries don't weigh a lot. Um, and obviously, I'm gonna tell you another thing now. Now I did another test, but I'm adding it onto this. And I did that with uh, FBV. What I did notice is when I first, because I haven't been flying this drone a lot, really. So really, the FBV is the reason why I bought this drone, really, because I love it for that. And as soon as I put on the FBV goggles, I turned on the drone, I got this warning come up. And that's saying virtually that the battery needed to be updated because it's inconsistent with the firmware. So that was the first thing. And I think I had that again with another battery. Um, so that's something else you've got to remember, guys. If you're going out the first time, just make sure that you do all these updates. Okay, what I found also is that the batteries, <laughs> they did differ. Now, one of the batteries at 19%, um, low battery. And obviously at 13%, return to home. And another battery, um, which is even worse, really, and that, that was interesting because obviously because I'm, you know the drone's going a lot faster and, and I'm sort of stopping it. It was a bit windy as well. The low battery warning came up at 26% and obviously at 24% returned to home. Interestingly, and now when I looked at the video footage on the last one, the drone was already at 57% and I managed to get five minutes out of that. So I would say, yeah, probably... If you're lucky, probably got about 10 minutes of flight time if you're doing it in FPV. So, I mean, is that, is that gonna bother you, to be honest? I, I don't think I've noticed really a lot of difference between this, my Neo, and to be honest, even my Fata 2, really. Um, if I can get 12 minutes max, that's amazing. But 10 minutes, I think it's pretty good. That's why I think it's advisable if you do buy the drone, obviously if you buy the drone just as it is, you don't get the uh, digital transceiver attached anyway, so you can't even do FBV with it. It didn't cost them much more, a little bit extra. You get all three batteries. You get this on the back as well, supposed to give you a better distance. I didn't think personally when I was flying in FBV, um, obviously when you're in, in and out of buildings around the back, you start to lose signal a bit, which you get even on your Fata. So, hopefully this video has been helpful to some of you, especially if you're thinking about buying this in the next week or so, or, you know, Christmas, or even, even 2026. I'll be honest, loving it. I've only had it just over a week, loving it. FBV, fantastic. Check out my video that I've already done on FBV. Um, FBV Friday, every Friday. Yeah, amazing little drone, guys. But as always, <laughs> let's give you another video coming right sooner.